Welcome to episode 19 of Lucy and Puck. They are just sleeping here, and their son James, resting in his bed. Just about to begin another new day. Yes, it is Saturday, which means that James does not have to go to school today. So he can just stay home and have a good time, do whatever he wants. Lucy, of course, doesn't have to work because she's pregnant and she's on leave from her job as a city councilwoman. So Puck is the only one who has to work today, although he doesn't have to go in until later in the evening. So nope. now everyone is getting up. Lucy a little after everyone because she needs to um, rest more because of the baby. And she seems to uh, be ready to burst. She's been pregnant for quite a while now. But it is breakfast time. Puck has made pancakes for everyone. I find that all sims everywhere seem to love pancakes. Which is not a bad thing, because pancakes are great. Uh, isn't it nice to see them there as a family? All eating the pancakes together. Man, Lucy, hope you give birth soon because you look like you're ready to explode there. Well, anyway, Puck finishes up. I decided to might as well clean these plates. Or just run off to the bathroom either way. And James decides it's a good time to practice his piano. It's always good to get creativity when you are young. Helps you out later in life. Studies have shown. Yes, he's playing the piano much to the chagrin of the maid. Well, I'm sorry, but we didn't pay you to be a music critic. So, eventually, James decides to get the phone, because it's ringing at him picks it up, and it turns out to be his friend from school, who he, of course, is very happy to talk to. So, he talks for a little while while Puck plays chess, and Lucy decides to join him in a game of chess. Her fun level's low, and she needs something that will make her um, happy and maybe take her mind off all the stresses and everything of pregnancy, at least for a little while. And it's always good to enjoy a nice game of chess. Alright, so James was practicing piano a little bit more, but he decides he wants to call his friend back and ask him if he wants to um, come over and play. It's alright with his parents, so he's going to come over. It's always good to play with your friends on the weekends. Well, he plays yet more piano while he's waiting for his friend to arrive. He probably just has to walk down the block because Veronaville is not a very big place. And there he is. So, time to say hello to his friend. I really wish I remember his name, but I don't. So, we're just gonna call him that kid, or something like that. So they play that Mary Mac on the floor. I think Puck won the game of chess, but it's really hard to tell. But anyway, Lucy's gonna hit the bathroom, and Puck is gonna make more food. Yes, it's great to see that James is getting along so well with his friend. Hopefully he'll actually reach the friendship level, so that way he'll get a boost of aspiration points. As Puck will have to be leaving for work soon, so before he leaves, he wants to make sure his entire family and their guest gets some dinner. So Lucy sits herself down, and Puck comes over with hamburgers. And if you see James's icon, you can see that indeed, he did get, um, 
in a platinum mode because he did make friends with that dude, whatever his name is. So, everyone joins around for some food. And as you can see, Puck's ride is already there. But he's gonna make him wait a few minutes until he's eaten his hamburger and has gotten his hunger all the way up. But yes, even he can't keep him waiting forever, so time to get changed and run off to work. Hopefully he'll get his promotion back today, but we'll see. He's sort of been lingering around at the bottom of the food chain for years now. It's a very unpleasant experience. But, anyway, Lucy decides that she's going to take a bit of a nap because she's really all worn out. And she tells James she wants him to do his homework. And what do you know? James is actually a good kid. He decides to do his homework. Even though it's a Saturday. He just wants to get it done so he doesn't have to worry about it after this. Well, skip ahead a little bit and he's done. And now he will join his friend for a game of chess. Yes. I too enjoyed chess when I was a kid. When I was eight years old, I was the second best chess player in my class. Now, Lucy is waking from her nap. She doesn't want to mess up her night's sleep entirely. But yeah, she is really tired, and if anything, she looks even bigger. So, the game of chess has continued well on into the night. Or into the evening, after the sun gone, has gone down. But, alas, his mother comes and says, It's time for you to go home and go to bed. But, Puck has arrived home from work, and indeed, he has been promoted to shift manager again. So, isn't it cute how their clothes kind of match? They're wearing the same um, red and black pattern, although I think... I mean, it's not the same color, but it's very close. The so father and son have a good chat out on the yard while Lucy prepares herself yet more food because she's one hungry pregnant lady. But yeah, having a good chat. Because it's always, always good to have father and son talk. <laughs> and it's always good to have the pregnant lady eat. Because you all remember what happened when Lucy was pregnant with James. She almost uh, starved that one day. So, we're never going to let that happen again. Well, it's come time to bedtime. James has already gotten himself into bed. And now, it is time for Lucy to go to sleep too. And in just a few minutes, Puck will also be upstairs to join his wife in bed. Yes, that brings us to the end of another day and another episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And I think I speak for all of us when we say, I hope that Lucy gives birth soon. Because it seems like it's been quite a while. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. And I will see you all later on for episode 20.